we're talking about the secret to productivity. There is no one secret to productivity. There are, there, there, there are multiple secrets to productivity and together they have to work uh, in a system that is best for you. I think uh, I'll, I'll talk about my personal productivity system and habits. And number one is a weekly review. Every single week I sit down, I review all my notes from the prior week. I use Evernote and I review all of my notes in Evernote. I file them and I make sure that any documents that I received from meetings or for meetings are all filed properly. And then I look ahead at what's my week look like. And I, I, I prioritize everything for the following week and all of the secondary tasks that I would like to get done for the week. And this next piece of the puzzle is having a daily review where every evening I spend a half hour at the end of the day, I look through all my notes for the day, I see what action items there are, those go into my task list. Then I set out what are the three most important things I have to get done the following day. If there, if there is something that, if I don't do anything else, what are the three things that I need to get done tomorrow? Sometimes there aren't three priorities, but there's always secondary things that need to be tackled. So I have three priorities and then I have a few secondary items on top of that. And I make sure that I review my calendar so that I'm not missing a call first thing in the morning and I'm completely prepared for any downtime I have and I know how I'm gonna utilize that downtime or for any large um, gaps I have in my calendar and how I'm going to use those. So if I have large gaps in my calendar, I'm scheduling some of the bigger things that I need to work on and I'm actually putting those in the calendar. Uh, also, if I owe something to the team, uh, either internally or for a client, the team will schedule time in my calendar so that I already have it blocked out to, to tackle something. I think something else that drives my productivity on a day-to-day -day basis is having a very uh, succinct morning routine. I know there's a lot of people that talk about the 5 a.m. club and they say that getting up earlier uh, helps you be more productive and get a better start to the day. I absolutely cannot disagree with that. I get up at six or a little before and I completely value the, the first few hours of the, day, of the day before anybody else is up and I get to just get into a zone and knock out those important tasks that I planned on doing. So having, getting up, getting started in a routine, um, knocking out a few things that then there's a domino effect that drives me straight through the morning. That's extremely important. If I, if I get up late or I don't tackle one of the um, parts of my routine in the, in the order that I always practice those in, it completely screws up my morning and can actually impact the rest of the day. Yeah, another thing that I do daily is I, I journal. Every morning I, I write in a gratitude journal. I also, I write things that, I write about things I've learned. I write about things that I want to uh, learn for just for personal growth. I write about things that are going well. I write about things that I could have improved upon uh, or things that are happening with the business that I want to improve upon or that have been going great. So getting my ideas uh, onto paper I don't necessarily just write, it's all free form. So I write, I draw, I use a lot of colors and I do that on a daily basis. And that's something that really helps me keep my thoughts together and it's one of those things that I have to set aside time for and make a habit and part of my routine to, in order to accomplish that every day. Having systems in place is a very big deal. Uh, probably the, the two people I follow the most would be Asian Efficiency and Michael Hyatt. And both of them have uh, a lot of systems and a lot of advice on productivity. Um, also, Getting Things Done by David Allen is, is a system that can be followed that a lot of uh, people in the productivity space talk about. But having a tool, um, I, I used to use OmniFocus, now I use Trello, but having a tool to keep everything in line and to keep all of my tasks um, in, or, in order and uh, organized properly, it, you, having a tool is the best thing you can do. Even if it's just a matter of having a checklist that is portable, a checklist app even, that you can carry with you and have everywhere. Uh, another, another part of the system is making sure that you have a way to file all of your notes. So the, all of your meeting notes should have a home, all files for projects should have a home, Everything should have a distinct naming nomenclature so that you know how, how to find files. 
and I use some automation tools uh, on my um, Mac. I use something called Hazel that automatically files um, anything that, that I've saved on my desktop or within any of my folders. And it actually files and organizes for me. But making sure that you can get all of the information that you need as quickly as possible is key to being as productive as possible. Productivity when it comes to meetings. I think that everybody should have a meeting policy. There are more unnecessary meetings in the workplace than ever before. And one of the things that I do before every meeting is I, I 100% verify if we have to have a meeting, if it's something that can be discussed, if it's only sharing information, it can be via email. If there's not a decision to be made and not an action item to come out of it, there should not be a meeting. And the other thing is making sure that all of the people that need to be there are attending that meeting and that anyone that doesn't need to be there and can just be filled in via email or from meeting notes later uh, should be left out of the meeting. Uh, there should always be somebody that is assigned to take notes in the meeting and then those notes should be shared immediately after that meeting has ended. There should be no meeting without an agenda also and I even do that with my calendar. I make sure that anybody that I have time scheduled with that I know exactly what the talking points are and if I don't I reach out to them to make sure that they send me over talking points and I know what the objective is of the meeting and what the outcome should be of the meeting.